In this video, I'm going to show you how you can open potentially malicious files or documents in a completely safe and secure environment without having to worry about hidden malware or malicious attacks. Whether you're just curious about breaking into the cybersecurity field or you just want to stay secure online, this is going to be the perfect video for you. So if you enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like down below. So before we dive into a demo of the tool itself, let's talk about why we need this in the first place. So as a SOC analyst, a significant part of my daily routine revolves around the meticulous review and analysis of phishing emails and various other forms of malware. This task is pretty much crucial for maintaining your organization's cybersecurity posture. It can involve detailed investigation of suspicious emails that can have things like phishing links or suspicious attachments or even just dissecting various types of malware that could lead to potentially infiltration of systems. In my current role however, I always utilise a large amount of tools to dissect and understand the basic anatomy of these cyber threats which can involve scrutinizing email headers to trace the origins, analyzing embedded links for malicious content, or even sandboxing attachments to observe their behavior in a controlled environment. All these are typical things you do as a SOC analyst whilst investigating cyber alerts. Therefore, you can see that a bulk of my time is spent in this continuous cycle of detection, analysis, and mitigation, because it's such a crucial function that involves not just the technical dismantling of the threats, but also a strategic understanding of the broader implications that it might have on your network security. As a SOC analyst, it's always so important to ensure that you can try stay several steps ahead of malicious actors. So you need to find ways of doing that. And a lot of times these tools can end up throwing up false positives or even miss threat detections because of a complex threat. So you really have to keep your eye on the ball at all times. And recently a tool that I've come across called SquareX really helps me do that when conducting my investigations. It's currently free to use at this moment in time so I thought it'd be great to show you guys and give you a full on demo of how to use it. Everything is timestamped down below for different use cases so feel free to skip backwards and forwards between them. I've been using the tool for quite a while now as I wouldn't like to show you something that I've not tested for myself and I can honestly say it's a big game changer in the world of online security. It essentially gets rid of the old guesswork of traditional security software that can sometimes get it wrong and allows you to check out any file or website without the fear of getting compromised. Think of it like a safety net where it's also super easy to use. You can essentially view everything in a safe throwaway cloud space so that even the smallest or tiniest bit of malware can't touch you. So you're always safe and your productivity doesn't take a hit. In terms of getting access to the tool itself, you can choose to add it as a Chrome extension or use the web application. In this video, I'll use the Chrome extension as there's many more benefits as you'll see. And it's also just a lot more easier to use and more user friendly. You can easily pin it to the top of your taskbar and use it without having to go out of your way to open it up in SquareX. On their website, as you see here, there's a variety of use cases that they show you and they have lots of tutorials for the tool, covering things like shielding against zero day threats, handling suspicious attachments, all the way through to accessing blocked websites. So there's many different use cases you can use. And having used the tool in my job already for the past few days, I can definitely say that these are the kinds of use cases I encounter on a day to day and definitely need the tool for. And now that you've seen that, let's get to the exciting part and jump into the demo. So here we have antivirus test files that were developed to basically see if antivirus software would detect what we're downloading. So essentially, if you try to download it, your AV software should flag it. And if it isn't, you know something's wrong with your antivirus software. There's a number of different formats, as you can see here. You can choose a link, a TXT file, a zip file, and one other. So depending on what your use case is or what you need to test, you can do it accordingly. And for this one first, we'll be using the link. So we'll first look at traditional method quickly to see if it does flag this up as malicious. And using another tool, I can see that 10 security vendors have actually flagged this as malicious. However, in reality, it's not really that helpful because it's not a majority of the vendors on there that have flagged it as malicious. And you don't really get to see what's behind the link. So we're just kind of taking it for its word if we determine it as malicious. Whereas if we now switch over to using the SquareX extension, I can open the link straight away. As I mentioned, I've installed it as the Chrome extension. 
and I can choose from the selection of countries that we have there where to visit and open this disposable browser from. This is a really useful feature because sometimes the payload or the URL may act differently depending on which region it was accessed from. And after a few seconds, you can see we've now been directed to the URL in our disposable browser. Now we can actually view the content for ourselves and investigate it safely. You can fully interact with it as you normally would, all within a safety net. Then when you're done, you can easily dispose the session where everything is discarded and no logs are retained. And as you see on the screen now, if you're having any issues or you need a longer session time, you can easily extend it by a number of minutes. Next, we'll be looking at the disposable file viewer. There are another two categories that we'll get to later on in the video, but for now, let's check out how we can safely view some files. So once you open this up, it will prompt you to add a file in for a disposable browser to be made. But for this example, we've received an email with the subject line urgent, and it has a document attached that's labeled safe document. Obviously, without a tool or any other tools, we would basically click on this to find out what happens and see if anything flashes. But as we have the SquareX tool, we can easily use the Chrome extension that we've got to open this up from a select number of countries and see how it behaves in the disposable browser. And you can see the document has opened up just as it would locally for yourself. And you can see there is malware in this document whilst you're investigating it. Obviously, this is for demonstration purposes, and that's just a red block of text. But you kind of get the idea. And then exactly as the same as before for the previous demo, we can just go ahead and dispose the session where it doesn't matter what was happening in that disposable browser, it's now been discarded completely and there's no logs remaining from anything that happened there. Once we've done that, obviously we need to remember we've just identified that the email was malicious so we'll need to head back there and quickly delete that so we don't accidentally click on it later or anything else happens with it. Next, we'll talk about a really neat feature that SquareX have integrated into their Chrome extension as well, and that's disposable emails. So you can easily see that feature here once we click the pinned icon on our taskbar, and you can easily create an email with the built-in features that they have. You can select from a number of domains and name it whatever you like. As you can see, I'm easily customizing this here, and I can select the tick box to change it. This is really good for when signing up to stuff that you're not really sure about and you want to and you need to receive a one-time passcode. So it allows you to easily do that and fill in that requirement. Following this, they also have something called smart integrations and currently they have a seamless integration with Gmail. So it essentially allows you to have an enhanced privacy mode on for your Gmail, which blocks all email trackers so no one can see exactly what you're doing when you're viewing emails you can see that they can easily turn this on and it allows an enhanced privacy mode and it will block all the trackers so no one will know you viewed their emails so no one's essentially spying on you really great feature and i'm sure there'll be many more to come so do keep your eye on that one don't just think you can use the disposable browsers there's other features coming in the future too for it Finally, I wanted to show you exactly what the tool does when you click to view it from another country and what that means for your session. So you can see, you can easily select from a number of different ones. We have France, UK, Singapore, and for this one, I've clicked onto Canada, and you can see it's automatically loading that straight away. And within a few seconds, we're in, and you can see that we're browsing from Canada, and it's just really nice and seamless because it has a lot of built-in technologies like ad blockers to make it very smooth and faster for yourself when browsing. It doesn't start to get clunky if you're clicking on a different country. Your browsing is pretty much seamless just like you're browsing in your normal browser. And just as an example, you can see I'm opening Google here. And we'll just browse for something really simple like Microsoft just to check that load time and pretty much instant and we can interact with it as normal and the web page loads straight away. So very, very seamless and very, very impressive, especially if you're conducting some investigation in this disposable browser, you don't want to be waiting around for it to load or for it to really feel clunky as it then it just puts you off the tool. So this is really great. And the creators behind this have really gone that extra mile to make it seamless. Like you don't even know you're using that disposable browser. And then when we're done, just like all the other sessions, all we need to do is click our icon at the top and dispose our session. Hopefully that's been really useful for you and you've enjoyed me reviewing this tool. The link to check it out is in the description down below and I highly recommend, as it's free for this moment in time, to check out that Chrome extension and just test it out for yourself. 
And if you're interested in tools like this and you want to know more, do click my Discord link where we have over 200 members who all love talking about things cybersecurity. So you can definitely gain something whether you're just coming into the field or you're already in it. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, it massively helps it out. It tells me that you're enjoying this type of content.